Well, you're, you're 5%. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself a Muslim? No. No. Even though the 5% is an offshoot of the nation of Islam? Kind of? I mean, you can say that. I mean, a, a, a member of the nation of Islam left and created his own thing based on certain portions of that lesson. But we are not Muslims at all. We don't consider ourselves Muslims. Okay. Uh, and the Islam we study is not traditional Islam. Okay. Do you study the Quran? No. No. I mean, I have read it, but I, yeah. we don't study the Quran. Okay. We study 120 lessons. Godfrey? Mm. Muslim? Christian? I'm, I'm neutral. Neutral. I'm neutral, man. I, I don't... I, I, I take... My whole thing is I take things from... I like to read about different things. I take things from different philosophies, and a lot of them okay. come to the same. My whole thing is... is, is, is freedom for black folks. My whole thing is justice for black people. I don't give a damn what anybody reads, what they study. It's how are you treating us? Who's getting the fair deal? That's all I care about. I don't care what your ilk is. I don't care. It's like, how are you treating the next man? Well, well uh, Nigeria, is that? Muslim, Muslim Christian. Muslim, man, oh Christian. yeah, mostly huge. Mostly both, Muslim both. or both? No, both. It's almost even. I'd almost say, even, yeah. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, it's a lot I'd of Muslims. Down the middle. Of, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Boko Haram, but then you got, you know. Yeah. There's there's an interesting interview where uh Moneybag Yo was hanging out with Kevin Gates. Oh yeah, and, and actually he did do converted the in the car. Converted to to Islam, right. you know, by stating the, the mm -hmm. whole thing. Yeah. Shahad. And, uh, yeah, the Shahad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember I interviewed uh Trey D about this and I'm like, oh, is that all it takes? Yeah, well before that, I'm sure he asked him some questions or he knew what they would what they usually ask, well, I know behind the wall because that's where I took my Shahad mm -hmm. at they'll ask you, are you coming into this of your own knowledge and free will? And is anybody, you owe anybody any debts? Are you running from anybody or anything? Hmm. Because that's not how you come to Islam. You come to Islam with a pure spirit to worship God and give God reverence. I don't you know, know if you're supposed like to be in the car doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you want to like go to the mosque or something. <laughs> he was doing a style. In front of like, like a real like, you like know. bootleg Muslim. <laughs> I, first See, of all, Kevin Gates, his heart though, as a Muslim, I just have to say, is so like, he's really like, loves it. Oh, like, that's you know good. what I mean? Like he has a very pure heart as a Muslim is concerned. And so you could see the real happiness in him striving to Convert his what brother. Type? You know what I mean? Types? But they was like, when they did it, they was chilling in whatever kind of car they was. You know, they both got jewelry on and shit right. like this. And like, ready to do this? Let's do and it. Kevin Gates is just like, yo, saying, he's just making him repeat some shit. He right. said the shit in Arabic, and then he said the shit in English. Oh, cool. And then he was like, there it is, bro. Like, Acceptance of Allah. Like, maybe like, it doesn't take, it doesn't matter where you're I'm at saying, as long as you have it here. Maybe, you know, maybe right? that is the case. I don't yeah. know. I just do, I feel like I know people that went and like, and did the whole, you know, they went it, to the mosque or whatever. I think the, every Muslim to the imam like, and all of that imam, type of right. stuff. Right, but maybe you can do it anywhere. Maybe, maybe you, you don't can. have to. I don't. I I, I don't know the the the, the rules. My thing that. is, I'm always just very curious. I stand on the outside of everything. My parents are Episcopalian, Catholic, all that shit. Hmm. And 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 no disrespect to my parents, of course not. But my thing is, I always look at stuff and I go, wow, a lot of religion has caused a lot of violence. People fighting over this shit, fighting over that shit whether you call it Allah, Yahweh, whatever. And when I see these other Muslims, I see these guys from Bangladesh, Bangladesh, and they're Muslims, they pray five times a day, and, I, and, they, and I'm arguing with them because they're being rude to me in a fucking car, you know? And you know what I mean? And you see Muslims that are African, and the Africans are being rude. It's like, okay, you guys are Muslims, but you guys aren't practicing half this shit. You're not practicing, and don't get me wrong, you all, I, I sometimes I go to the mosque and I'll see all those cab drivers, you know, they all congregate. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Muslims, the Arabics, the Africans, every and then but then you all are still talking shit about each other. I'm confused. It's hard yeah. to join anything when you guys ain't fucking the racism shit is still fucking there. I, you know I think I, mean? I think what's oh, actually I mean, you know, yeah. the Christians though. No, I mean, no, 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 no. I'm I'm saying all, the Christians yeah. already, I'm like, boom, but when I was like, fuck the Christian shit, I was like, wow, maybe the Muslim thing might be the thing. But then I see that shit. So I'm just like neutral. I, I, think, I think the cool part, for example, I interviewed Big U, you know, who's like a big figure, you know, affiliated with rolling 60s and stuff like that okay. out, out there. And, you know, he's, he's a Muslim himself. And he told me, you know, on camera, yeah. so you feel that some of the stuff you've done in the past you have to make up for? No, I know it. You know I mean, it. I want to balance 
I don't want to. I don't want to be remembered for being the the this negative force. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I don't want to live my life and the only thing you can remember about Big U is he was this, he was that, he was this, he was that. You know what I mean? He fought all these different cases. He did this to people. I feel like if on the day of Yamakiyama, when I, I want to be able to say that um, I did right. I want to be able to say that whatever we had a part of, I did right. And I feel like in 2018, with the, with the gangs and the murders and all that down in L.A., that I'm getting there. You know, he's part of a program funded by the city that tries to defuse gang situations among L.A. He said the gang, uh, like the, the gang death rate in L.A. is at the lowest point that it's been since there's been gangs. That's great. You know what I'm saying? And he's got the youth football league That's and stuff what I'm like that. And, you know, I remember when I interviewed A. R. Ab. It's like I'm I'm not the best Muslim. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm out here cutting up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't the best Muslim at all by far. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even a good Muslim. But it's still in our heart, you know what I'm saying? We're supposed to love our prophet and, and the law more than we love ourselves and our parents, our kids, everything, you know what I'm saying? At least it sets up a conscience in the back of your of mind course. saying, okay, at least I know I'm fucking up. You know what I'm saying? At least I, I'm not, I don't feel good about the stuff I'm doing and I'm going to try, if not now, but at least at some point to try to atone for this stuff and try to, you know, bring some good to counter the bad that I've done. And it's ironic that a lot of these guys become Muslim in jail. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, the gotta, Nation of Islam is, you know, had a lot of its members come from prison and stuff like that, right? Well, I don't know. Well, I would say more of the Father Sin Nation, actually. Oh, really? Had a lot of... The gods was running the jails at one point. Okay. Especially in New York. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say so much the Nation of Islam, but... Yeah, Nation of Gods and Earth, we was definitely running the jails. Like some people even was calling it a jail religion or whatever, but mm. that's not what it is. Mm. But that's how prevalent we were in the jails. Who who are the prominent NOI guys, like in, in terms of current rappers? I know Jay Electronica, right? He dope. I mean, he'd be around I like them. I don't know if he's I do too. if he's official NOI, yeah. I love him. He, he wears the chain. Yeah, he's dope. I like There's his work. not from what I know, there's not a lot of NOI rappers. There never was. Like Cam, West yeah. Coast Cam. I, I back in was the affiliated. Day. Right. Cam was definitely yeah, Cam. one. Yeah, I didn't read Cam before. We um, talked about it. He's the one that kind of got Ice Cube into it. Right. Um, but yeah, Chuck D was affiliated, but I don't think. Right. He, he had Farrakhan in his videos. Right. But I don't oh, yeah, know if he was, was actually like a registered member. Um, see, because I feel like being being that type of a Muslim, you know, it doesn't really lend itself to being a rapper. You see what I'm saying? Like, especially with that suit and tie style and all of that back in the days. Like, you know, for instance, I had a brother named uh, that I came up with from Mount Vernon. He actually rose up in the Nation of Islam pretty high. His name is Arthur X. Um, and he was a rapper. He was originally, his name was Kid Dust. <laughs> Back in the days when, you know, motherfuckers used to smoke dust and shit. Yeah. But he came, became Arthur X. And he still was kind of rhyming, but it was just, it was weird, you know, yeah. seeing Arthur X from the nation of Islam. Like, you know, and he had his tie on. And <laughs> it's just, it, yeah, yeah, it, it look, just, yeah. yeah. That's Doesn't why right. yeah. the Five Percenters did much better in rap because he dressed regular, dressed regular talk regular. Right, right, right. And, but... Is it Big Daddy Kane? Was it Big Daddy yes, Kane? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, I've interviewed uh, Wesley Muhammad from the NOI. I just, I just had a, an interview on my show with Wesley Muhammad. Yeah, cool dude, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like him. I like him. Um, you know, actually, we were in the process of trying to get Farrakhan, but I heard someone threw a monkey wrench in that, in that whole situation. Oh, really? Yeah. Someone threw a monkey wrench to, for you to get Farrakhan? For me not to get Farrakhan. To, oh, we, we were actually talking, yeah, about, about doing a Farrakhan interview. They said, Dad Farrakhan, don't you interview with that devil Vlad? He doesn't like Jewish people. But you know what's funny is Farrakhan is an amazing violinist and his teacher's Jewish. <laughs> I mean, he's an amazing violinist. You he, know that, right? He was a musician originally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, him and his brother played, the, his mom had him out of Boston. He still plays the violin. And plays and murders it, you know. But, I, yeah, I don't, I don't touch the Farrakhan thing. I mean, I, I used to go see him 
and Savior's Day in Chicago. So Chicago, I, yeah. I would see him in college the whole nine. And listen, if a man, my thing is, I don't. It's not about Nation of Islam or anything. Any man that has lived before me and went through the segregation days and all that has knowledge to tell me. That's I would take his messages as far as like I take what I want from it. You know what I mean? And you know, so that's. Um, and people would be like, you know, why are you listen? I said, I listen to Malcolm X. I listen to Fair. I listen to Dr. King. I, t- I listen to all black people that have lived before me hmm. that, that experience it. Regardless of what their religious affiliation is, they all went through segregation. They all were called the N-word. Hmm. Hello? <laughs> it has nothing to do with it. It's just how they've lived life. And I like to get some wisdom from that.